hello and welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you an easy way to reduce image size sometimes you want to send many photos by email but you are not able to send them because the overall size of all images are too big to send by email so uh, before that i would like to show you the com comparison between original and compressed photo the original photo is 8.73 megabyte and after compression change it to 447 kilobyte which is a big difference and if you compare the quality you will not feel that big difference you will not feel a big difference in the quality so the original and the compressed one are nearly the same quality which is acceptable and it's easier for sending sometimes people suggesting to zip it using winrar so let's see after compression using winrar uh, the file size is didn't change that much and if i zip it click right click and go send to send to where is it send to where are you send to compression compress so after compression it changed to 8.5 megabyte which is still big file so uh, the best way in my opinion uh, is to use microsoft office picture manager which is a free software from microsoft office the icon is look like this and i will click it to open the software the interface is look like this and if you want to add the photos you click add picture shortcut click it <coughs> and choose the place where you save it your photos it is on my desktop i have sample photos click it click add this will add all the photos inside the folder you selected all right so um so what we do now we go to edit pictures and then on the right side you find compress pictures click this you have a several option don't compress documents web page email message so the best one is documents to keep the quality in a reasonable range so the original will be 6.5 and after compression will be 425 kilobyte okay so click ok you see a star will appear next to the file name which means something done to that photo i will change another one just to show you after that click save all go to file and click save all This will overwrite and save the changes to your original photo. See, after compression, the size changed to 156 kilobyte, and this went to 289 kilobyte, which is a reasonable and the quality is good. So, if you want to do it to all, we select all and go select documents and click OK. If you notice the all size. 243 megabyte after compression will be changed to 15 megabyte this is for all the images so if you want to keep the, uh, the the original photos you should not click save all you have to go to the other option which is export so this time i will click export because i want to keep the original photos after you click it export on the right size you have to choose a destination you have to create another folder or choose another place to save your photos so i will create uh, another folder compressed photos <laughs> click it open and then before you click ok you have to change the size you don't want 
the original size so click on the drop down box you will find uh, several options see you have more options than before you have document to document type large and small we want the large one because we need the quality to be a good and uh, click ok it will take a while depending on your computer speed see if you go and check the folder you have a compressed photo folder and if you notice that the size is 12 megabyte and the quality are good <coughs> yes so that's the two easy way to change the or reduce the image size the good news is that software is free and you can find it in the microsoft office 2010 the bad news you will not find this software installed with the microsoft office 2013 and 2016 you have to download it and install it individually so in my next video i will show you how you download and install it from microsoft officially so see you in my next time don't forget to like and subscribe to get all the new 